What's up, guys? This will be the last video. On this camera, because I bought a new one. Check it out. Boom, 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 boom. So it was time to upgrade. Um, right now I am shooting on a Canon M50. Uh, why did I get a Canon M50? Because it was cheap. That's why. So Abel started on a Canon M50 um, and he made some pretty badass stuff with that M50. Abel, throw a little, throw a little bit in there. Throw a little bit in there what you do with that M50. <laughs> was able to do that so when we got together and decided that we were going to take this channel to the next level obviously i just did what he told me to do so i got a canon m50 well guess what that thing ain't cutting it anymore so i bought this uh it's what abel uses so now we'll have the same camera uh, so we're getting the same footage whether i'm shooting it here at home or we're shooting it together wherever we are uh, in the country or pretty soon the world so i got the r6 not that any of you guys uh, care about cameras, but I'm pretty excited about it. It's It feels good to take whatever it is you're doing to the next level. You know what I'm saying? Like upgrades. Upgrades are awesome. Speaking of upgrades, I got something pretty cool I want to show you guys that just came in the mail. And it may be, if, it's, if you guys are correct, it could be an upgrade. I don't know. We're going to check that in a sec. But first, we want to answer the question, should the 18X program exist? Should civilians be able to go, is that thing straight? Yeah, it's straight enough, right? Ooh, look at, look at bokeh. So should the 18X program exist? Should you be able to go from civilian right into special forces? There's some controversy there. There's a lot of people that think you shouldn't be able to go from civilian and get an 18X contract. They think that you should go in, do your time in the military, and then once you've proven yourself, be able to apply from the military. Um, so you get that regular army experience, you know what it's like on the other side. I personally was regular army first. I didn't want to be. I tried to go straight to special operations too. Uh, I just got hurt in RASP. I went option 40. Uh, I got hurt and then ended up going to SFAS. But before we talk about that, I want to show you guys this really cool thing that just came in. And also, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. If you guys want to be in shape and ready to go for selection, do what I do and follow the guy that I follow, a former Green Beret, Kevin, over 18 Alpha. He'll hook you up. Use code word BUCK. Poof. Now, let's jump in and check out this. All right, guys. So here it is. The Crossfire DG16 Coyote. That's the one that you recommended. You told me to go check this thing out, and now here it is. They were kind enough to send one over. I'm going to use this thing to go hike the Catalina Island Trail with my boys. Video is going to be sponsored by Nutrient Survival. It's going to be awesome. But let's bust this thing out and see how cool she is. FNG Academy Tour Knife. Oh, it's so clean. Sweet. Not gonna lie to you, I thought it was gonna be a full pack. It's two frames. Look badass, but I need a pack. I'm gonna have to figure out what pack to put on this. But they sent me two frames, which is badass. I'm gonna have to jump online and buy one of their bags now to throw on this thing. Time to go shopping. All right, and we're back. So let's talk about what I think about the 18X program. First of all, I would have to use people that I know from the 18X program. Uh, and the guys that I know, two of the guys I know went from 18X to CAG. So I think what happens there is, uh, you know, regular army guys are like, well, the grass is greener on the other side. So we go from regular army to special forces and the grass is a whole lot greener. But 18X guys don't have that. So they go to special forces and they think the grass has got to be greener. 
So they go even farther. So maybe they take their, their career path even farther and they want to go check out CAG to see if, if the grass is greener on the other side. Um, and I did just talk to a buddy who's currently uh, serving in Delta, and he said the grass is very much greener. He enjoys it very much, which I can't imagine that he wouldn't. It seems like a pretty badass gig. But anyway, it would be hard. And then I got my buddy Jerry, who's a Charlie on my team. Uh, he was an x-ray but he's got so much, I mean, his whole career has been special forces. I think he's like 15 years in, he's been 15 years all special forces. So it's hard to say, looking at those guys and the caliber of dudes uh, that were x-rays, it would. it's hard for me to look at them and say, you shouldn't have been here. You should have gone regular army first. Um, but I understand where other people are coming from. And here's the issue you start to see with certain personality types. And so overall, the program should... People be able to go 18 x-ray. Should civilians be able to go straight to special forces? I would say yes. However, there's a caveat to that. I think certain personality types would do a little better having a little humble pie and going to regular army uh, and living, you know, the, the rougher life that you live in regular army before going there. So I think everything in special operations, it's all personality based. You can't really say it's good for this guy because look at this guy when it sucks for this guy because his personality is fucking terrible um and he's you know just turned 21 cocky as shit uh and thinks that shit don't stink or something like that so every person's going to be different but overall i think the 18x program is a good thing um and i think it gets people right to where they want to be or it gets them right into realizing that they ain't ready <laughs> and they'll come back later but at least it gets them moving towards the direction that they want to go instead of being like, oh, yeah, uh, maybe or, you know, one day. It's like if that's what you want to do, it's awesome that you get the option to do that. However, for all you 18X guys uh, and girls, what would I tell you? What would what would my advice to you be going into 18X to not be that guy or that person that is going to rub people the wrong way because, you know, you just don't have any prior military experience because you're going to be on teams with guys that have a lot of prior military some that have been you know like uh my boy tom see more combat as regular army than he did as special forces so there is going to be that dynamic i would say that just hey like anything if you want to improve your situation just be humble keep your mouth shut learn from those guys um and just understand that they have different experiences than you have and that there is a different way to live and that's not all this being treated, you know, like a celebrity SF kind of stuff. There's grunts out there who are grinding um, and getting it in and doing stupid shit. And they're busting their asses to make it work and to get into your position. So just know that people look up to you um, and they want to see you setting the example and they want to see, you know, just they want to see you enjoy that grass being greener because they want to get there themselves. But also just make sure you respect those guys that are still getting after it in regular army. Um, you're not above them. You're not ahead of them. All you did was choose this route when they chose this one. They could very much well pass you later on. They could become CAG. They could, you know, go to ranger school. They could best ranger. They could do so many cool things with their careers. Never look down on regular army. Never treat them like they're not as cool as you or you've made a huge mistake. Um, and, but if that's the kind of person you are, whether you go regular army or you go straight to SF, you're just going to fuck up being in the military or whatever job you're doing because you got a shitty attitude and you got a shitty outlook. So, yes, there is controversy between uh, about the 18X program. There's a camp that thinks that they should, you know, earn their stripes before putting in for special forces. But then there's also the need of getting in the right people um, and sending them to the pipeline when they have a good shot at it because we need more operators. So personally, I've only had issue with one guy that I thought, and he used to piss me off, and now he's a good friend of mine, but he used to piss me off because he was an 18X, and I was like, listen, you think we're equals. I was like, but I've been an E5 for years. You just pinned that thing. Um, so in my eyes, you're still a private. Like you, you just pinned that fucking rank, and you've never held any other rank. So there is a can be a little animosity, but personalities will prevail um, and professionalism will prevail over all of that so stay professional uh, don't worry about that if you're going to be an 18x go do it sign up enjoy it and then 
just be respectful to all those people still grinding in the regular army because they do a lot of shitty things that you will not have to do. And you will very much take for granted all those shitty things that you do not have to do because you never had to experience those things. Motor Pool Mondays being one of those prime examples. But all right, guys, I hope that helps this, you know, break down should you should there be an 18x program? Should you worry about that? Because a lot of you are like, hey, I don't want to, I don't want to be that guy. So like, should I just go regular army and then sign up for SF later? Nah, my advice, shoot your shot. Give it everything you got. And if you make it, by all means, enjoy it, have at it. Just respect those that are still in the process or haven't gotten there yet, or just don't want to. Just never look down on anybody. Hope that helps. Enjoy your Monday. We will see you guys next time.